its energy surrounds us and binds us. What is up, nerds, and welcome back to another reaction here at Carbonite Convos. This is your first time joining us. Like always, you've just taken your first step into a larger world, and if you're a returning viewer, we cannot thank you enough for watching another episode of The Bad Batch here live with us. Tonight, we have episode five. It's called Rampage, so I'm super, uh, I'm super excited to get into it. Um, like always, I'm joined by my co-host, Alec. Um, you can find him everywhere at Wall Crawler Pops, and you can find me at Funko Stud, but Alec, how are we doing tonight, man? Dude, this I'm, morning. Right. I'm I'm pumped as always to get into another episode of Bad Batch. Anything Star Wars is always super fun. But before we get into that, guys, don't forget about our big three. It's like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button to stay alert with everything we're doing here at Carbonite Convo. So we got a lot going on and a lot in the works. So we really appreciate your support and I'm ready to get into this episode. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's not keep the people waiting. Um, let's hit the let's hit play in three, two, one. I think, dude, something's gonna happen with Wrecker. He's getting hit in the head too many times. You think? Yeah. It, they're making a point of it that he keeps getting hit in the head. Ord Mantel, Ord Mandel. We've heard of this place before. That's not the voice I expected her to have. No, me neither. What's your deal, Tiny? You're Sid. You oh, man. Jedi have other importance. Several. She's. She's smart. <laughs> I like her in that com link. Yeah. Dude, that's the force, man. She had a trooper helmet on her wall. She also has a she also has a Mandalorian helmet. Hmm. Hold up, it's in the back left. Oh yeah. See, is like, it... ooh, what kind of creature is that? A big one. Is that um? That's Bib Fortuna. Yeah. It like acts like a rancor. Right. I mean, it looks like if an Ugna and a rancor had a baby. It is a oh, rancor. It is a rancor. Yo. What if this is where Jabba gets his rancor? Because Jabba is the one looking for it. Yeah. Wow, that'd be nuts. It looks a lot different than a rancor. Well, if it also ends up being the baby, well, a kid. And if it ends up being Jabba's, then he spends a lot of time in the dark. So yeah. His skin might change. Ooh. That's dope. That thing's sweet. They're sitting there exchanging blows. There he is. That's so weird seeing him like that. Especially knowing that he's dead now. That's definitely the same voice, too. Dude, that's Jabba's rancor. That is cool. And Moochie. Unfortunately, we see it die. Interesting. That was a good episode. I know. I liked it. I, I love that we literally got to see where Jabba got his rancor. Well, what I, I what I found interesting is I think he already had her because did you see the look of um, – there was a look between Bib and Moochie that – it, they they de it definitely looked like they knew each other because right uh, the rancor is a pet to 
Jabba. So it's not like it's this prisoner. Like it seems, you know, he's in this dark cave. And right. Everything. It seems like they but, use him as like a weapon, but he, he's like a yes. pet. Remember how sad they were when he died? Exactly. So he is a pet. Um, so I definitely think somehow, I don't know how somebody would get a rancor away from Jabba the Hutt, um, but somehow they got it. Um, I thought it was super cool that we're that we're getting those little cameos. And I think it's those little things where, you know, it just ties in the rest of the galaxy. I know there's going to be people on Twitter tomorrow that are just going to be complaining about this. It makes the galaxy seem smaller. And it's like, man, who cares? Who cares? It was an enjoyable little cameo. We got to see Bib Fortuna, a couple Gamorrean guards, and we got a new character in Sid. And I actually really like her. Yeah, I'm, in a way, dude, she kind of reminded me of Maz a little bit. Um, Same. If, if you took her and made her a little more sinister, um, and a little yeah, not like like untrustworthy, but like a little shadier. Um, exactly. That's that's the vibe I got. Yeah, definitely. I like the whole cantina she's running there, and I. How about Omega knowing that she's Sid? Yeah, that's, what was that about? That, I don't know, man. That's not a. Co- I don't think that's a coincidence. I don't think like, so that, either. It's, it's like how would she know if anyone, like anyone else in the Bad Batch, should have known that before her? She sensed it. She sensed it, man. But that was that was really cool. I really expected to see Rex. Um, it was the same type of uh, atm- not atmosphere, terrain right. that we see Rex in in the trailers. Um, I'm kind of glad that we didn't see him this episode, though, because well, do we that, have a that lot of Bad Batch left. Yeah, we have about 10 11 episodes, episodes I think. What is it? Yeah, 16, yeah, 11. 16 episodes. Yeah. And with Fennec being in last week, I think it'd be a little much to throw Rex in immediately this week. No doubt. Um, but I think Bib Fortuna and Gamorrean Guards, I think those are some that'll just like kind of hold you over. You know, I, I really enjoyed that, actually. That was. That was pretty cool. So I'm trying to think of anything else that, that happened. Definitely expect after you mentioned it, I definitely expect something to happen with Wrecker here soon. Yeah, he's they're making too big of a point of him hitting his head and like rubbing his head, like, oh, I feel weird. Um for what if he makes nothing. Something? I could see him making a big sacrifice play because he's that type of guy where he thinks he can take down anybody. Um, and I think even if he knows he can't, if it'll save his friends and Omega, I think he'll do it. I, I ho- Odds are we see all of them die. Yeah, or um, they just kind of or just walk off life. into the sunset. Like exactly, that's what we're either gonna see it um, like it was in Rogue One, or we're just gonna kind of see them part ways and just go their own ways in the galaxy, which I think either of them will be sad because we're getting them for 16 episodes after we've already got them for four episodes. So we're going to have them for about 20 episodes. And that's a, that's a good little bit. Yeah. I'm surprised we haven't seen uh, crosshair and uh, Tarkin in a few weeks. Well, yeah, I, I feel like in the next, obviously in the next like week or two, we're going to see a, more along the lines of where they're going, but it's. I think it's emphasizing the Bad Batch on the run right now. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And just showing like, oh, they're literally trying to get the hell out of there. Um, yeah. But obviously, this new empire is right on their tail. So. Yeah. I mean, they made a good new connection, so that's good. Um, yeah, do you have I, any... I like her. I like her a lot. Yeah. But... No, I, th- I, I, I want to look and see who played her. Um, because she Super that was a very familiar voice, yeah. Like you said, I was not expecting that voice when she turned around. No, yeah. Uh, do you have anything else before we let the people go, though? No, it's nice, <laughs> simple, fun episode, but no complaints here, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, but thank you guys again for joining us for another episode of The Bad Batch. We can't thank you enough for uh, for tuning in and watch us watch. Uh, don't forget to check us out on all social media uh, platforms and podcast platforms at Carbonite Combos. Uh, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Funko Stud. Um, and you can find Alec here at Wallcrawler Pops on those three outlets. 
But I think that's all we have for you tonight, guys. And next week, don't forget to tune in next week to episode 40 um, of the Carbonite Combos podcast, where we're going to be having Thanos go against our boy Darth Vader um, in the final MCU uh, Star Wars villain bracket showdown. So definitely be there for that on Tuesday. It's you can either tune one. in. Yeah, you can either tune in live on TikTok either Sunday or Monday. Um, We'll, we'll tweet out something so you guys know exactly when to tune in. So you can check us out live on TikTok either Sunday or Monday, maybe Tuesday. But it will definitely be out on YouTube and the podcast platforms um, on Tuesday night. Uh, but until then, guys, may the Force be with you. Remember, the Force will be with you. Always. Always.